transparency. <laughs> You're getting it here. You definitely are. <laughs> okay, they're boosting our unit. Wow. That's expensive. Maybe they're trying to go Junod onto Immortals? I don't know. Jeez, full leader. This person's not playing around, ladies and gentlemen. They mean business. They're here to win. Well, as long as you're thinking, might as well walk on the bottom. Very, very expensive play. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another deck guide. For today, I've put together a Northern Realms list for you. The leader ability that we're going to be using is Shield Wall. We have three charges of this. This allows us to boost an allied unit by two and give it a shield. We are looking to use the leader charges sparingly. Specifically, one can go to Queen Meave in this list to boost her up and work with her inspired condition. And the other charge can go to Kelda if you like. And then, you know, outside of that, maybe if this loses its shield, you can boost this back up too. But the general theme with this deck is we want to have as many shielded units as possible because we want to make King Rognir as big as possible at the end of the match. He'll be removing all shields and boosting himself by three for every shield removed. The stratagem that we're using is Engineering Solution. Boost an allied unit by four and give it a shield. This is to work with the shield synergies we have in this deck. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it during a match. So to begin with, you can see we've got the Griffin Witcher Adepts down here. You're really looking to play these out when we're committing Kelda, which would be in round two and three. And those Witcher Adepts can transform these Witcher students into copies of themselves. Um, they're going to be shielded units, so it makes King Rognir better. So that's what this does. Transform an allied witcher into a base copy of the same unit this is. So play both of these out round two and three. Because we've got Queen Meave in this deck and some engines, I think Pella is decent. Purify unit. You can also use it offensively on your opponent's units if they've got the resilience status. That seems to work good too at the moment. Um, this cavalry unit is shielded. When it loses, its shield boosts off by two. So you can play this when you're looking to commit King Rognir in that same round. Um, in addition to that, you can synergize it with Damn Sorceress. But this is kind of likely to be um, around one card, perhaps, when you're playing Damn Sorceress. I think it fits in good there. Target practice is to work with when we're playing Kelda and the Griffin Witcher Adepts. Boost an allied unit by four. If there's a Witcher on the boosted unit's row, also spawn a Witcher student on that row. Uh, this being the Witcher student here. So this is gonna be likely a round two or three card you commit. So because we're playing Golden Necker, I've added in two separate artifacts. Obviously because sometimes Vile gets thinned out to the board if your opponent has it as well. So just to make it um, always guaranteed that we're going to get that artifact value play, we've got Mysterious Puzzle Box and Vial. So Vial is nice to use round one. It can help with getting points and making Arendite better. Boost an allied unit by four. Give it Vitality four. Could play pretty good at the moment against Patricidal Fury with the Sirens. Maybe you want to take it in to boost one of the Sirens up when you're going first. Um, or second, doesn't really matter in round one. But outside of that, this card basically gets thin to the board if your opponent has a copy of it and you just get to look at each other's decks. So like I said, um, round one card, or you can just leave it in deck for Golden Necker to thin out later. It's really up to you how you want to play the artifacts out. Immortal Cavalry, extra shielded units for Rognir to remove the shields and boost himself by. Spawn a base copy of this unit in this row. Best played when you're committing King Rognir in round two or three. So go ahead and play them both out at that time. Damn Sorceress pretty much just removes a unit shield and it's boosting itself by two. Cooldown one. 
Um, a very strong combination we have is to play Damn Sorceress together with the Immortal. So that's a combination you want to play out in round one. So the Immortal is a melee rowlock card. When this unit loses its shield, it's boosting itself by two, and at the end of the turn, gain a shield again. So play a mortal as an opener to round one when we go first, and then you play Damn Sorceress, and you have that very good um, engine value going on. So immortals, as I said, um, play it out with Damn Sorceress round, round one. Play both Sorceresses out round one. I wouldn't recommend playing them when you've got King Rognir down because you don't want to destroy your unit shield. You want King Rognir to remove the shield, so he's a bigger play. So just try to keep those out of the round that you're going to commit this card. So like I said, round one, play them out. Mystery, Mysterious Puzzle Box. This loyal says going to your opponent's side of the board. Um, spawn a 7 power lamp gin on the opposite row if neither player has passed choose a card from your hand adrenaline 2 spawn a 7 power lamp gin on the opposite row and destroy self instead pick a card from your hand that's the order of this at the end of your turn transform the highest provision chosen card in hand into the thing from the box which is this um, unit that you see here so you and your opponent you're going to pick a card and whoever chose the highest card um, gets the thing from the box a 13 provision cost um, pardon me, a 13 powered token unit. Um, sometimes in some matches, maybe your opponent has destroyed the shields um, off your units a lot and King Rogni is not such a good play. You can use Puzzle Box on Rogni then and still get like a nice point slam out of that card. So you really want to keep Mysterious Puzzle Box in your deck for Golden Necker to thin out. That's what I'd recommend. Or some control in this list because it's not really a control list at all it's more of an engine based um solitaire kind of deck you can, we've got margarita here just to balance that out a little bit more lock an enemy unit it's a zeal order you can let the um lock float if you want you can just drop her down on the board and wait on it in some cases but preferably you want to play her when you get a good target For consistency, thinning, and to help with tempo, we do have Nickers in this deck. This unit may raid the battlefield to aid you in battle. Um, the less cards you have in hand, the higher probability this will get thinned out from your deck. Always keep Nickers in your deck. Um, since we've gone over Nickers, I might as well explain Roach now. When you play a gold card, summon this unit from your deck to a random allied row. So keep Roach and Nickers in deck. When we play Immortals, first thing, this gets thinned out right away onto the field. It's really good. Wind Helm, Shield, every ally turn on turn end, boost this unit by two if it has a shield. So like I said, one leader charge can be reserved for this unit because if it loses its shield, it's not really much of a solid engine anymore. Um, but we can use this to help with bleeding into round two or round one just to help get round control. Immortals were covered. You're just playing this round one. King Rognir, it's pretty much our win condition for this deck. It's melee row locked, so make sure you're stacking Keldar arranged row so you don't um, block your melee row. It's most likely going to be the very final play of the match. Um, whether you're going for a 2-0, uh, short round 3, whatever it is, this will be your last save pretty much. Remove shield from all units, then boost off by 3 for every shield removed. So we want as many shielded units down on the board as possible before we commit this. Uh, whenever you play special cards, spawn a witch's student in this row. That's pretty handy to know. I'd like you to stack Keldar range row, like I said, so you don't mess up King Rognir. We're looking to play Keldar on Adrenaline 4, because at that time, you get to spawn a Witcher student in the row that he is in at the end of your turn. Give one leader charge to Keldar when you play him to keep him protected. Roach, we covered. Queen Meave, nice way to get some very nice boost across the board. Boost all allied units by one and reset the timer. 
whenever this unit receives a boost, it's gaining armor as well. So this is going to happen as long as it's inspired if this unit's current power is higher than its base power. So try play Queen Meave. I'd suggest like round two on the bleed. It's pretty good. Play it behind Defender. And first thing you want to do is click Leader onto it right away. Give it a shield. So Defender is really here to protect Queen Meave, Eldar, and perhaps Rognir because it's going to be a lot of points. So it saves her from Tall Punish. So when you're looking to commit those cards, that's when you're going to play Defender and it's likely to be round two or three. It's a shielded unit also, which is good. Siri Nova, um, just a resilience unit for us. Play this best round one or two. It's going to gain resilience, shield, and veil. Golden Necker, I suggest playing this when you're looking to finish the match so you're more certain what you're likely to draw with it. It's going to get us um, the top unit special and artifact from your deck. So we don't have a lot of specials. So my tip for you guys is keep in mind Golden Necker can bring you Arendite. So if you get Arendite in hand, you can shuffle it away back in deck. Also, we've got Target Practice um, and Decree if you missed it. But like I said, it's a pretty concise and specific play. So if it looks like you're low on specials, just shuffle Arendite back in deck and you've always got a guaranteed special to thin out through this. Um, I'd suggest keeping King Rognir in hand so you don't let golden necker kind of mess that play up as well because you don't really want golden necker to be um too much of a restricted kind of play you want it to be more free and safe when you use it you don't want to have to worry about pulling rogue near too early or something like that then we've got ring of favor um it's just going to be boosting in our hand by two at the end of our turn if the opponent passes and we haven't used it it just banishes and we draw a card from our deck it's always going to start in our hand round one. Arendite makes sense in this kind of a build. It's an echo, so we get to use it twice. I think this is my first time using it in my builds. Um, damage an enemy unit by zero. Boost the lost powered, powered allied unit by the excess damage dealt. At the end of your turn, if you have more points than your opponent, increase the damage by one wherever this card is. I think we're going to use Arendite round two and three, most likely. That's how I use it in this deck. So keep in mind, um, we always want to do high tempo plays. So Arendite is good. So that's why you're going to play Immortals, Thin Out, uh, Roach, play Damn Sorceress, all that kind of stuff. Try to let Golden Necker thin that out for you, if you can. And then decrease just to give our deck some more access. Round one, if you're going first and you miss something like Immortals, it's nice to search for that. Okay, so now I'm just going to take you through um, how to execute the strategy for this deck most optimally. So this is the sequence that's best to follow in my opinion. First play will be Immortals Melero, followed by Damn Sorceress. Then what you can do from there is play your other bronze cards out. Maybe you want to play Vile. Um, maybe a cavalry unit, maybe the other sorceress as well. Um, you get to thin out knickers, get to thin out roach. You can play your shielded engine unit. Usually that's enough to get round control. And what I recommend with this list is that you really want to push for the 2-0 if you can, or make the rounds as short as possible. And if you're going for the 2-0, you could just play defender, followed by queen Meave, give it a, a leader charge her leader charge part of me and then what you're going to do is play Keldar range throw not melee to give yourself room for king rognir um and yeah then you can just play your remaining cards out if it looks like the 2-0 is good play golden necker hopefully you've got king rognir in your hand and you can just time it king rognir as the final say of the match but in a short round three arendite could play pretty good as well so thanks a lot for your support. Please share your feedback down below. Why am I getting knickers and roach? <laughs> oh, I've been pulling them all night, seriously. These are good though. 
They could have some poisons. We put this away for Golden Necker. Yes. No faces, no hearts. <laughs> yes, you're right, Bird. My apologies. Ever Nickers comes out now. Now. Inquisitor. Yep. Arendite's gonna be good. Oh yeah. Thank you. Perhaps a different ingredient. My deepest gratitude. We're quite ahead here. I don't want to go spending some good things. Yeah, it's fine. In it didn't even have to use stratagem. Just pulled golden necker. All we need now is like Siri Nova, Meave, Defender. No, don't want that. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, okay. Rather die than bend a knee to the Emperor. The man's got the wares if you've got the coin. Shakedown. If I play Golden Necker now, is that way too risky? Artifact. Unit. Special. Okay, not bad. What the is, is to hunt the camel cares not. Siri? Makes sense. Yeah, could play it. Oh, so they get for Siri. Well, they wasted a lot of coins to get that out. And I can purify, and it actually plays for nothing then. Purify is a really good counter here. This looks safer because the coins are a bit low. It's, it's probably a good time to push. We got good passive points here. And Meave. No, I wouldn't Eminem. I'd definitely go for it. <laughs> Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? I could Purify now. Purify Siri. I want to get closer to Adrenaline range. This is great. This is climbing for a solid. Lost spirit devoid of name. This is a really good match for us. Morels? Yeah. 
Not that it helps. We get for the lock now. What can I do for you? We're gonna get killed up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yo, I've been listening to Eminem for the longest. Salamandra has no one escaped. We still got a very good short round. These are great for a short round, and I'm sure we're gonna get Rognir. Damage an enemy unit by 10, then boost the lowest power ally by excess damage. Yeah, that's what you would have done, Bird. Yes. Shady Vendor. How about this one? Oh, they've caught up on points again. They don't have a spender, though. Hmm. On even. Oh man, I couldn't ask for a better pass. Crest, how are you, you legend? Oh, they got resilience. Uh, guys, they're going down on coins. They are. We've got a very good short hand coming up now. Drop round. We're definitely getting Defender and Rognir, no doubt. This might be good as well for Rognir. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. It's good. It's quite good. Perfect hand, yes. Mate, I've got the privilege of having you in my company. That's where the privilege is at. Communication. You are not worthy of the fire's purity. Oh, there's a lot of points. It's a lot of points, my friends. I'm not backing down though. No way. Well Yeah, they got a lot of different spenders. I think we just save Arendite last. Time is the easy bit. Getting down's another matter. Wizarder. Nobody expects a tradition position. A windmill. The stick spin around and smash. Hey, I can see Care Seren from here. You can look fast enough. The windmill is hit them. Hard. Come back to bite me in the butt. I should have known better than to sacrifice Pella. Because I wanted to sacrifice Pella, just did that to me. It's his payback. Rogni is going to be good. Trust me. He 
be surprised. Okay, they brought it back. Professor. Not the dead. Well, I'd imagine for a little brother. Five of my shots. Well done. Can we bring it home? I'm on it. Is the question. Go on, Geralt. Oh, yes! Just like that. Throw your professors at me, throw your things from the boxes, whatever. Arendite's like a conditional card, isn't it? If you go first, it seems to um, get you more value. Might be harder now. Checking out our deck. I'll take a look at yours soon too, don't worry about that. I'm sure I'm gonna see an identical list <laughs> to what I just versed. Okay, it's a bit different. Location. Location. First play. Gotcha. No, 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 damn it. On four. Junod, Hjalma. Yep, yep, yep. So, similar kind of build. Golden Necker deck. We'll go mortals first. So we can work into that with sorceress. Should be good. Transparency. <laughs> You're getting it here. You definitely are. <laughs> okay, they're boosting our unit. Wow. That's expensive. Maybe they're trying to go Junod onto Immortals? I don't know. Jeez, full leader. This person's not playing around, ladies and gentlemen. They mean business. They're here to win. Well, as long as you're thinking, might as well walk on the bottom. Very, very expensive play. But, you know, that probably works for them too. Better for their Aaron diet. Don't think it was worth it. <laughs> At least not for round one. Yeah, it's great to see that out, though, isn't it? I can do a great deal more for you. I think we're passing early. We we can't really contend with full leader round one location. Nothing like some overseas plundering and springtime. <laughs> Slam all the golds. Just one more, sir. It seems to be the style. So we're just gonna pass. You know, we can use um what's it called again? Mysterious Mysterious puzzle box, right? To take the mysteriousness out of this low-powered Arendite and turn it into the thing from the box, if it's not that good. I think that's a good way to play it, in some cases.
So, I'm guessing they're gonna go for a bleed now. They've got Siri Nova in their list. They've left location there. Untouched. Siri Nova is good at this time for sure. Take care, Dicker Dicko. All the best, my friend. I'll see you on YouTube. So we're not too certain what Neka could get us here. If it's going to get us that, that. We probably don't want to do it until we get Nickers out of the way, huh? Want to think about it a bit? We get Aram died on two. It's getting better. All right. Oh, how wonderful! You speak our tongue. Yep. So they're gonna use rain and then heal it. Self damage. I'm going to wait till they use it and then play this so they can't potentially get rid of the shield. The other leaves it. And the next move is ladies and gentlemen. Wait for it. So damn sorceress. Yeah, it's not really good here, is it? In this case. I don't think so. Must not get in the way of my axe. Let's play the engine out. Down with a mirror. Yes. Okay, now we're looking good, baby. I like it. I think this is going to put us in a good spot. I think so. Aaron Dite's climbing now too. Could keep it. If it gets good enough. Golden Neck is not bad for us, round 3 still. So we're gonna get that, that. Wow, okay. Megascope? Really? Megascope. Looks like they're slowing down. Oh, 
Na bitte Deckel auf Höhe. We just stay ahead on points, that's all we're looking to do. I don't have to go through Meave yet, or anything like that. Puzzle box is artifact? Yes. Poor play by the opponent, you think? When the rain's gone, we're gonna boost um, the engine at the bottom there again. on four well maybe i should have considered um the unit could give rain still let's get the card advantage huh card advantage is just just as good for us here Goes Melly Row with the rain. Interesting. Verification. Yep. Death would be a mercy. <laughs> You're joking. You it's all good. I can't tell sometimes, there's just text there. <laughs> Trying to get out of it, guys. They're really trying here. Should it be Aaron Diet? I probably want to save this with Keldar. Drew good cards. You think so? Or is that another joke? <laughs> Looks like we're good on the pass here, guys. We got passive points. Meave's gonna boost. Question is, are they gonna keep playing? Okay. Really? Goes for that. That's really interesting. Still plays in. Yield and save me some time. Maybe it's Rog near here. So that's going to get damaged by rain, is it? Going down by two. Could go Golden Necker as well. Maybe it's the time for that. So we could use cavalry, defender, for for shield. I still got one leader charge for Rognir. I guess we could play it like that still. <laughs> I 
this time you're serious? See, now I'm getting confused. <laughs> oh, man. I think it's better to go cavalry over the lock, isn't it? Like, we're looking for that. Oh, crap. Okay, so that's... That's one point worse for me. Right. Shield on Siri. So shield carries over. And um, it's statuses, right? Status carries over, yeah. So like vitality, bleeding. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Could go defender here now for protection. So I'm not going to use sorceress to remove shield. We're going to leave it for this because it's a point more. Aaron dies on nine. What's up, Alex? How are you, my friend? Golden Necker again. Ah, it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid, man. Wow, it's a lot of points. It's a lot of points, guys. <laughs> they can't use that for boost, can they? <laughs> that's so funny that's what you get for messing me right you get a dead vial <laughs> oh man i'm loving it just get rid of this don't we look at that keldar value coming through oh i love it what do you guys think we got it that was clean, man. Not too shabby. Not shabby at all. Wow, defender value. Oh. Wow. The knight. There's luck in my nice. Man, we really denied them that Aaron died. Crap. Villa tactics. There's a lot of movement. I'm sensing a lot of movement, so much so that I'm moving Roach away. Away out of my hand. Wowzers. This person ain't playing. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I can't wait to get the Igni one, this Igni as well. It's at the very end of the journey. I could drown you single draw. This is an interesting opening from opponent. Where's Red Haze when you need it? Let's knock him out. Ooh. I'll do so sword in hand. Yes. Oops. Right. Ah. 
ammunition for that battle. Yes. Okay. Aaron Dot's on two. Oh no, don't tell me it's Maddock. You're joking. Not this broken Maddock. Where is Sabrina? Sabrina's at home chilling. That's where she's at. What are my leader charges for? Once for Kelda, once for Maeve. Yeah, I can't really commit more. So we don't want to give this deck a long round because they're control heavy. We just want to bleed them. It's good. Really? Just leaves it there. Very, very confident player, my friends. Indeed. Extremely confident. Maybe it hits the shield and the armor from Maddox, the uh, Cataclysm. We've got some good points here. I wish I had um, that unit which locks now. I could still come around to it. Margarita. Yeah, they're pretty weak there. They're just bleeding. Getting ready for a pass. See you, Blade. Take care, my friend. Thank you for your support. I think it's their entire deck mode. I don't know about the hand and what they've drawn. It shows you their, their deck, like what their deck list is. With an ape. Wow, okay, well it's good to get that out. Yeah, it's probably the pass. Sim last out's pretty good, but we don't want to give up round control to this list. Yes, I have seen. Yeah, we'll just pass. Now. 
Aaron Dites on 9 has gone pretty good in this match. That's decent. So we're looking for Golden Necker. Can we find it? That will be good against Maroc, I think. Yes. Decree. Decree for a quick one more time, maybe. Yes. Ah, straight up, baby. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. You are playing specials. You're not playing traps. Does that mean defender is safe from a serpent trap? So Kelda will be ranged row. I mean, they spent heat wave here, man. Yaga's satisfied. She's not hungry or angry anymore. Ooh. Yes. Tomorrow shall bring a better day. Yes. Today shall be a better day, not tomorrow. That's actually really good for our Arendite value. Alyssa. Thank you, baby. Yes, here we go, here we go. I could put Immortals Melee Row and Tiger will be triggering it. That's actually, we could get some good value out of Immortals that way. Instead of Arendite Maddock. Yeah, I'd agree with that, boat. Yes. So they're gonna leave. Caesarush, take care. Yes, if they have bombs. Could kill. Is it? So. Should I save it? What can I do? Maybe we'll let Aaron Dyke grow. Splendid crops this year, and ever they shall. Leave it to me. When one falls. Another racist. So Golden Necker now. Aaron Dite last. Here we go. This goes here. I can put that here, that's fine. Yes. And that move's gonna pop off on the end, unless they do something. Okay. Right. I think we got it. Oh, yes, yes, we still got it. That was beautiful. 